Hi friends and welcome to the Hindu Editorial Analysis. I am Saurabh Day and you're watching Adda247. This is the English version of today's analysis. So let's take a look at the motivational quote that we have here for you. So motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. So if you want to start something new, if you want to start something inspirational, then motivation is what you require to start something new. But then again, if you want to keep on doing that and achieve success, then you will have to get that thing into your habit. You will have to make it habitual. So motivation is what gets you started. But then again, habit is what keeps you going. Now, these are the golden words of Jim Ryan, who, by the way, was an Olympic track star. And today, our first article is about sports as well. So what a relation between the court and our first article. Let's take a look at the e-paper that we have here for you right now. So mandate and allocations. Now see this particular article is about the 15th finance commission as written over here. Then we are going to analyze it for sure because it's an important article being a financial article very important for banking and insurance examination. So we will take a look at this article for sure. Then at left over here it's given war for war. Now I'm pretty sure you're aware of the fact that see First of all, there was a chemical attack from Syria, from the forces of Syria and Russia. And then now the Syrian government has been attacked by the US and its allies of, you know, UK and France in retaliation. So perhaps uh, both the sides, you know, one government is attacking the, attacking the another. And ultimately, the side which is on loss is the common civilians and the common civilians are dying in the process. So this is all about the war in Syria now. Well, uh, but this uh, war in article is also very important for the UPSC guys. So I'm pretty sure you, they can have a look at this. Now, reimagining governance. So getting the center, states, and district administrations to work in tandem is crucial. So perhaps all the civil aspirants, this is an article that you should take care for sure. You should look into for sure. It really clearly discusses the fact that, see, it's extremely important for any particular place to grow and to develop that the central, the state, and the district governments also work in correlation and works in a single line. Now, then at left over it's given a golden hue. So guys, this is the first article that we have to analyze over here. And it's not just because that's extremely important for any particular examination, but it's because I, as a proud Indian, want to, uh, want to make sure that all of you know about this article that shows the greatness of India sports and its sports persons. Now, my dear friends, let's take a look at the next page of the editorial. So guys, here it is. Now, with or without Nawaz Sharif. So Nawaz Sharif was ousted for life from holding any public post. But then again, nothing is for sure in Pakistan as far as politics is concerned. So this is an article that's extremely important from IR point of view. And I'm pretty sure that all those of you who are UPSC aspirants, you are going to love this article for sure. Now see, at right away, you can see when more is less. Now see, this idea, friends, is an article of about journalism. Well, this guy over here, A.S. Paneer Selvan, he is a very, very senior journalist. And you know, most of the time, he writes the articles regarding journalism. So this is also about the data being used and being interpreted for journalism. And I'm pretty sure it's a treat for the BGMC and the MJMC people. Now, my dear friends, let's take a look at the next one that's left over here. So it's waiting in the wings. So see, this describes uh, this describes Dinesh Karthik's abilities and how can he play beside, alongside uh, Dhoni as a specialist batsman. So I'm pretty sure, guys, that you are going to love this article for sure, especially if you are a follower of IPL and cricket. Now we can remove the C paper and come back to the center screen as well. So... Now, guys, uh, we just took a look at the, all the important articles. Now it's time to analyze and start the analysis of our most important articles that we have here for you. So the first article, guys, is related to sports. But before we take a look at that article, I want you to know of some facts regarding Indian sports. So let's take a look at the PPT of the facts that we have here for you. So facts at a glance. Now, the popular international sports chess were originally invented in India. The original and the early game of chess was called Chaturunga or Chaturanga. Then the martial arts or art of self-defense originated and created first in India. And later the martial arts was spread to the Asian countries by the Buddhist monks and missionaries. India had participated in the Olympic Games for the first time in the year 1900. Indian athlete Norman Pritchard participated in the 1900 Olympics representing India and won two medals. So this is something that you should note down for sure. 
India has won only 26 medals since 1900 to 2012 in 2012 in Olympic Games. India's Indian Premier League or IPL cricket is the second richest sports league after the NBA or the National Basketball Association of United States of America or USA, according to the Forbes magazine. Now, so the Snakes and Ladder game was created in India by the 13th century poet Saint Gyadev and the original name of the game was Mokshpat or Parambam Badanam. Okay. So, guys, I'm pretty sure that you were fascinated by all of these facts of sports regarding India. And now let's take a look at the e-paper and the article that we have here for you. So, Golden Hue, Indian athletes make a mark in diverse sports at, at the Commonwealth, Commonwealth Games over here, CWG over here. So, perhaps the way in which India performed in a variety of games was absolutely remarkable this time, my dear friends. Now, the Olympics has a global LEO and the Asian Games bask in the continental spread. And compared to these two, the Commonwealth Games may look like an unflattering vestige of British Connolly in the past, yet there's no denying that the CWG's relevance as a stepping stone to British sporting glory. Now see, the Olympics is the actual, is the actual, you know, global attraction of sports. Then the Asian Games is about the continental glory. But then again, com compared to these two, the Commonwealth Games might appear way smaller. But then again, guys, because see, Commonwealth Games actually is played by those countries which were once ruled by the Britain. And in fact, you know what? Still, there is no denying that the performance in CWG Games is going to is going to provide a platform for better performances in, in at other bigger platforms or levels. Now, for India, the relatively limited competition means it uh, actually remains a front runner. In fact, if for India, it's actually good that you know since there is limited competition, India remains a front runner. Then this was underlined over the last fortnight at the Gold Coast in Australia, where India won 66 medals and improved the Hall of 64 from the 2014 edition at Glasgow. So perhaps you know what? Now, see, the uh, performance, by the way, in fact, you know, uh, see, the thing is, whenever there's limited competition, India actually performs quite well. And this was highlighted in the last fortnight of 15 days at the Gold Coast in Australia, where India actually won 66 medals. And although, and also they improved their overhaul, their haul from 64, from the previous edition of the Commonwealth Games, which was held at Glasgow. Now, importantly, the number of golds rose from 15 to 16, 15 to 26. Sorry, in wrestling, weightlifting, shooting, boxing, badminton, and particularly table tennis, India dominated, uh, you know, India dominated, and perhaps there were actually world-class efforts from the Indians. So the number of golds, the happiest thing is the number of golds rose from 15 to 26, and in wrestling, weightlifting, shooting, boxing, badminton, and also particularly table tennis, India dominated. There were world-class efforts from the Indians all over. Five-time world boxing champion Mary Com, two-time Olympic medalist wrestler Sushil Kumar, and world champion, world champion weightlifter Meera Bai Chanu, 2016 world junior javelin champion Neera Chopra, and teen shooting sensations Manu Bakar and Anish Bhandwala produced splendid performance to clinch goals. In fact, you know what? Five-time world boxing champion Mary Com, two-time Olympic medalist wrestler Sushil Kumar, world champion weightlifter Meera Bai Chanu, 2016, World Junior Javelin Champion Neera Chopra and Teen Shooting Sensations Manu Bakar and Anish Banwala produced splendid performances to clinch the gold. Now guys, before we go further in this particular article, let's take a look at the vocab-based question that we have here for you. So what exactly is the synonym for the word allure? The options are repulsion, attraction, hatred, and aversion. Now, aversion means dislike. Hatred also means aversion or dislike. And attraction means um, attraction when you get attracted towards something. Then repulsion ultimately, again, means hatred or when you want to go away from something or avoid something. But allure ultimately means to attract. So what you can do is you can write in the comment section, allure equals to attraction. Allure equals to attraction. Because both allure and attraction ultimately mean to attract. So perhaps you would have written in the comment section, allure equals to attraction. Now let's go back to the e-paper that we have here for you. So 
In badminton, the unexpected gold in the mixed team event, the much anticipated women's final featuring PV Sindhu and Sanan Nehwal, and the emergence of some doubles combinations were the high points. So perhaps, you know, in badminton, the unexpected gold that India ultimately got in the mixed team event and the dream final, the dream women's final featuring PV Sindhu and Sanan Nehwal, and also the emergence of some doubles combinations were actually the high points. From the table tennis arena, India provided the biggest surprises you know it won a medal in all seven events now an unprecedented sweep of team goals and a historic gold in the women's singles of manik batra highlighting the hard work done also by the coaching and support team so perhaps you know in table tennis india actually got the biggest surprise because it won a medal in all the seven events and also this is something which never happened before the way in which we sweep the team goals and also a historic gold in the women's singles for Manik Batra, which highlights or underlines the hard work done also by the coaching and the support team. The 22-year-old Delhi player returned with four medals, including two goals and provide and proved to be India's most valuable player. Okay. So guys, this is something that you should really keep in mind. Just 22-year-old Delhi girl Manik Bat uh, Manika Batra, you know, performed really very well. And, you know, she won four medals. And actually, the four medals out of these, you know, two were goals. And it proved, and she proved to be India's most valuable player. So guys, now at this point, I'd like to say, that let's see question number two. And I am hope, and I hope that you will be able to get the correct answer for sure. So let's see question number two now. Which of the following is not true according to para one guy's statement? A is there is no applauding the uh, CWG's relevance uh, as a stepping stone to greater sport and glory. Then so statement B is, importantly, the number of goals rose from 15 to 26. Statement C, from the table tennis arena, India proved, uh, provided the biggest surprises. Then, options are right here for you. Option number one is only A, option two is only B, option three is only C, option four is only A and C, and option number five is only B and C. So guys, which of the following is not true? And that is what you have to tell over here, so C. Now, looking at all of these options that I'm sure that you will say the statement A says there is no applauding and that is not true. Exactly, guys. So the correct answer over here is option number one, only A. So 2-1, only A is the answer. And I hope you wrote the same in the comment section. Now, let's come back to the E paper once again, my dear friends. So, however, India's reputation took a beating, though, when A.V. Rakesh Babu and K.T. Irfan were packed off from the games for a violation of the needles, no needle policy after needles were found in their room. So, you know, India's reputation did take a big hit when A.V. Rakesh Babu and K.T. Irfan were packed off and sent off from the Commonwealth Games for a violations of the no needle policy after needles were found in their rooms. So this aberration or abnormality must not go unaddressed against the backdrop of successes for other Indian athletes. So this abnormality which was seen, you know, it should not go unaddressed. It should be definitely taken care of against the background of successes of other Indian athletes. With the next Asian Games scheduled in August, September in Jakarta, Indonesia, India is expected to build on the gains from the Gold Coast. So definitely now see the next Asian Games scheduled in August, September, all right, just a few months left in Jakarta and in Indonesia. India is expected to build on the gains, you know, to improve further from the Gold Coast. Based on the quality of recent performances, India could improve upon its 2014 tally of 11 gold, 10 silver, and 36 bronze medals. So based on the way in which India has performed, India could definitely improve upon its tally of 2014-12 uh, of Asian Games, you know, of 11 gold and 10 silver and 36 bronze medals. Considering the Asian standards of table tennis, badminton, shooting, wrestling, weightlifting, and field events in athletics, it will be over optimistic to expect a gold haul anywhere close to what Indians managed from the Gold Coast. So, also, we have to take in consideration that in Asian Games, uh, the people, the other countries, the players of other nations who are, and their expertise in table tennis and badminton and shooting and wrestling and weightlifting and other field events in athletics, definitely it will be over optimistic or rather I'd say overconfident to expect a similar kind of a gold haul anywhere close to what we managed in Gold Coast Australia. So guys, before we go further, let's take a look at the next question, vocab based question that we have here for you. So guys, what exactly is the synonym for the word aberration from the options of normality, conformity, peculiarity, and regularity? Now see, 
Normality means when something is absolutely novel, there's no difference, something is regular. Then conformity means something for sure. Then peculiarity means something that uh, seems quite strange. Then regularity means normality. So guys, aberration means something which is not normal, which is abnormal. And you know what? The abnormality has to find its synonym in peculiarity option number three. So guys, the correct answer over here is option number three, peculiarity. I hope that you wrote this in the comment section that aberration equals to peculiarity because you should write in the comment section aberration equals to peculiarity as both of these ultimately means abnormality. So write down aberration equals to peculiarity in the comment section. Now guys, let's go back to the e-paper again. All right, so Chopra, Chanu, Sushil, the badminton players and singles besides select shooters will definitely hope to do well in the Asian Games. But India will certainly try to register a better show in hockey. We finished fourth, by the way, in Commonwealth Games, where the men's team will defend its Asia Games title, that's for sure, and automatically they'll qualify for 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. Till then, the CWG or the Commonwealth Games has held a mirror up to the Indian sport and found a refreshing reflection and also a really improved, a drastically improved Indian sports persons and Indian sports. So guys, now let's take a look at question number four that we have here for you. So which of the following is true according to the para over here? Now statement A over here is, this aberration must not go unaddressed against the backdrop of successes of other Indian athletes. And statement B is, based on the quality of recent performances, India could improve upon its 2016 tally of 11 gold, 10 silver and 36 bronze medals. Then statement C is, Chopra, Chanu, Sushil, the badminton players and singles besides select shooters will definitely hope to do well. So guys, what exactly is true? Uh, compared to all these three, well, the options are option number one only A, option two is only B, option three is only C, option four is only C and A, and option number five is only B and A. So guys, the correct answer over here has to be option number four only C and A, because C, read statement B that reads over here, based on the quality of recent performances, India could improve upon its 2016 tally, whereas it was 2014 in the paragraph, all right? So it should be... 2014 and that's why option number four only cna is the answer and i hope guys that all of you my lovely people you would have also written that as the answer okay guys so that was all as far as the first article is concerned now guys it's time for us to take a look at the second article let's take a look at the second article right now so it's a mandate and allocations. Now, what exactly is this about? The terms of reference of the 15th Finance Commission raise questions about constitutional propriety. So this is about, you know, questions being raised on the 15th uh, Finance Commission's references. But before we start this, let's do one thing, you know, let's take a look at the facts that we have here for the regarding the 15th Finance Commission. So here's the facts at a glance. Now, the government has allocated rupees 10 crore in the 2017-18 budget to the 15th Finance Commission so that they are able to do their job in a better way. Now this time the FFC or the 15 Finance Commission would have to take into account the impact of the goods and services tax on the resources of the centre and states. So GST and the resources of the centre and states have to be taken into consideration by the FFC before providing any kind of recommendation. Allegedly the FFC might also be tasked with recommending the debt gross state domestic product and in the levels rather, product levels and the combined uh, GDP debt gross domestic product levels for all states. So perhaps the, uh, you know, the debt gross uh, state domestic products and also the GDP, you know, levels for all the states might have to be formulated or recommended by the FFC. This has been alleged so far, nothing is clear on this for sure. Reportedly, there are also a major debate going on uh, among the government, government officials on whether the FFC should use the 2011 census, census for its work. So perhaps, you know, there was also, there has been reports of a, of a major debate going, among the, going on among the government officials uh, regarding the use of the 2011 census for the FFC. Former bureaucrat and Rajya Sabha member N.K. Singh is the head of the 15th Finance Commission. Write this down, note this down. This may ask in the examination for sure, maybe ask in the examination for sure that who is the head of the 15th Finance Commission, but then you can write former bureaucrat and Rajya Sabha member N.K. Singh. Then, 
Well, the next point over here is Article 280 of the Constitution requires the Finance Commission to fulfill its duty of making recommendations to the President. So guys, as far as I can see from my point of view, there can be two questions that can be asked from the last fact that is, under which article of the Constitution is it required for the Finance Commission to fulfill its duty towards making recommendations? And another question that can be is, that the, to whom does the Finance Commission make recommendations to? Is it the Prime Minister or the President? Well, guys, the answer is right there in front of you. Article 280 of the Constitution requires the Finance Commission to fulfill its duty of making recommendations to the President of the nation. Now, guys, let's do one thing and that is take care of this e-paper article that we have here for you. So it is not without reason or logic that the presidential terms of reference or the TOR of the 15 finance commissions have raised questions, you know, and the recent conclave or meeting of the finance ministers of the southern states to discuss the contentious or in fact such issues that are disagreeable issues in the TOR is only the beginning or the start. Now, in the months ahead, more debate or discussion on this is likely. But the line by the media that this conclave or meeting was about the concerns regarding or concerns or worries over the directive to use population data in the TOR from the 2011 census and not the 1971 census that was used earlier is an exaggeration or nothing but just something which has been fetched too far. Now, so guys, that's about this point over here. I hope you understood the first para. Now let's understand more over here. To be fair, the meeting was called to discuss all the contentious or dis uh, disagreeable issues. Of course, for the southern states, the issue of population was actually a point of worry or concern and, you know, and provided a common meeting point for the ministers of the south. But this was not the only area which was discussed in that conclave or meeting. So I hope, guys, you got the idea that what exactly is this article about? Now let's take a look at the vocab question that we have here for you. So what exactly is the antonym for the word contentious from the options of combative, testy, belligerent, and agreeable? Well, guys, I'm pretty sure that you shall be able to give me the answer. Now see, combative means somebody who's ready to fight. Testy means something that actually tests uh, something. Belligerent once again means kind of a cover, kind of a mood to fight. Then agreeable means to agree on a particular point or absolutely, uh, you know, not fighting at all on any particular thing. Well, guys, the antonym of contentious has to be option number four, agreeable over here. Okay, guys. So now, so that was all as far as this particular question is concerned. Now let's take a look at the para jumble that we have here for you. So here's the parajambal, guys. It's a very simple seven sentence parajambal, and I'm pretty sure that you will be able to answer this comfortably if you find the first independent statement. Then do one thing, find the logical pairs, and then do one thing, just arrange them in one particular order. That's all which has to be done. So guys, pause the video right now and start finding the correct order. Okay, now let's see the answer. I'm pretty sure that you would have found the answer till now. Okay, let's see the order now. Right order. So it's B E A F D C G. It's B E A F D C G. It starts from B that reads, it is not without logic or reason that the presidential terms of reference or TOR of the 15 Finance Commission have raised questions and the recent conclave of finance ministers of the certain states to discuss contentious issues in the TOR is only the beginning. Now, in the months ahead, more debate on this is likely, but the line by the media that this conclave was about concerns over what over the directive to use population data in the TOR from the 2011 census and not the 1971 census that was used earlier is actually an exaggeration. So I hope guys that you were able to get the answer over here. Now just do one thing my dear friend and that is let's take a look at question number seven and eight that we have here for you. So question number seven is you have to find the error in the least list in these last four questions that we are left right now. So conceptually, general purpose transfers to the states by way of tax devolution and grants are meant to enable it to provide comparable levels of public service at comparable tax effort. So what exactly is the answer over here? What is the error in this question? Pause the video right now and find the error, my dear friends. Okay, I hope you would have found the error till now. So see, it has to be over here. 
टू नाउ सी रीड द क्वेश्चन कंसेप्टली जनरल पर्पज ट्रांसफर्स टू स्टेट्स बाय वे ऑफ टैक्स डेवल्यूशन सो इट्स इट्स अबाउट स्टेट्स इट्स अबाउट ग्रांट्स आर मेंट टू इनेबल इट बट देन अगेन इट इज व्हाट बिकम्स सिंगुलर बट स्टेट्स इज प्लूरल सो दैट्स व्हाई इट शुड बी बिकम इनेबल देम टू प्रोवाइड कंपेरेबल सो क्वेश्चन नंबर 7 पार्ट 3 कंटेंस द एरर नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर 8 लुक ओवर हियर the before finance commissions were issued the directive to use population data of 1971 based on a parliamentary resolution so pause the video once again and tell me the answer what is the error for question number 8 i hope you would have found the error till now now see before is a preposition but before a noun to qualify the same you generally use an adjective so that's why it should be earlier and not before over here so it should be the earlier finance commissions who were so question number 8 part 1 contains the error now let's see question number 9 and 10 and then we'll end this show so number 9 now we are bound by our tor to take into account population figures of the states based on the 1971 census and assigned 20 25% weight to the factor so what exactly is the answer to this particular question well you can pause the video right now and find it out okay now see we are bound by our tor to take into account population figures for the states based on the 1971 census census and assign now see when the entire statement was in the present tense then why exactly do we make a sign in the past tense right it should also be in the present tense so that is why the error lies in part 4 of question number 9 it should be assigned over here and not assigned over here now Question number ten is the T O F or the present commission could have been silent on which population figures should be used and avoided a controversy. So pause the video right now and find the error. Come on, people. The T O R for the present commission could have been silent on which. Till now, it's all correct. Population figures should be used and avoided a controversy. Once again, it's correct as well till here. That means this is a no error question, my dear friends. So let's come to the center screen now. Finally, it has finished. So that was all in today's session. I hope, my dear friends, that it was extremely useful for you. And I'm going to meet you again in the Hindi session of today's Hindu editorial analysis. Till then, peace out.